Hi there all you grade 4 Deccanites. Are you ready to learn? Awesome! Today we are going to learn about the water cycle. Before we discuss the water cycle, we need to look at a few terms that, ne that are necessary for you to know in order to understand the water cycle. First we will look at evaporation. Evaporation is when a liquid changes to a gas. When liquids are heated enough, they can change into gases. When this happens, we say that the liquid evaporated. Liquids evaporate when they gain heat. For example, when you heat liquid water, it changes to a gas called water vapor. You will see this as steam. The best way to observe evaporation is to watch a pot with boiling water. Please do this under the supervision of an adult. When you watch the water boiling, you will see steam rising out of the water. This steam is the gas called water vapour. As the water boils, you will notice that the water in the pot has become less. This happens because the water evaporates and turns into water vapour. Another example of evaporation in our everyday lives is drying of clothes. When we hang the clothes, they are wet. After a couple of hours, the clothes are dry. This happens because the water from the clothes has evaporated. Have you noticed that after it rains, there are puddles all over? When the sun comes out, these puddles slowly disappear. These disappearances are no mystery. The water in the puddles evaporated into the atmosphere with the help of the sun. The next term is condensation. Condensation takes place when a gas changes to a liquid. When a gas cools, it forms a liquid again. When a gas changes back into a liquid, we say that it condenses. Gases condense when they lose heat. When water vapour loses heat, it condenses to form drops of water. Hold a saucer over the steam and see what happens as it cools. Remember the pot of boiling water? Place a lid over the pot and leave it there for a few minutes. Remove the lid and look at the side that was covering the pot. You will notice droplets of water. The droplets of water formed when the water vapour came into contact with the cool pot lid. Water vapour in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid, forming clouds. This is also condensation. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation. Lastly, we will look at precipitation. Precipitation is the different forms of water that fall to the ground. Rain, sleet, snow and hail are the types of precipitation. Now that you know what these terms mean, we can finally learn the water cycle. Take a close look at the diagram of the water cycle. Can you find the terms that we just learned about? Evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Good. Now let's find out how the water cycle works. The sun shines on the sea and heats the water. Water evaporates from the sea, becoming water vapour. This water vapour then rises in the air and cools down. The water vapour condenses to form clouds. This continues. The wind may spread the clouds inland and away from the sea. When the water drops in the clouds join and become heavy, it rains, otherwise known as precipitation. Rain may fall on mountains and fields to form streams. These streams join to form rivers. The rivers flow to the sea. The water again evaporates and this cycle is called the water cycle. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Until the next one, stay safe and be kind.